What do you do if you don't have enough money to trade with? Well, that's the topic of today's video. But first, I'm Pepper. This is Godly Trading, and thank you for being here. So we've been going through the trading success formula for the last couple of weeks. If you missed any of those episodes, we'll have the link for the first one at the end of the video. And the formula basically breaks down to defining success first and foremost for you, and then saying, well, what can I bring to the table to make that success happen? And the three elements that you bring to the table are your discipline, your capital, and your strategy. And we're going to go over strategy next time, but today is all about capital, which is basically just how much money you have to trade with. Now, you may say, well, what does that matter? How much do I actually need to trade with? Well, that is all determined by the first element, which was success. But let's just say for the sake of argument that you want to make X amount of dollars a month, right? $1,000, $5,000, whatever it is. Well, you work backwards from that. All right, what return can I reasonably assume I'm going to get? Let's try this one here, right? Warren Buffett, over the lifetime of his career, is have is, has an annual average of 19.8% return year over year. Are you going to be the next Warren Buffett? I hope so. So let's take 20%. Let's be very generous. 2% a month, right? We're going to go, that's 24%. Actually, a little bit more than that with compounding, but it's easier for me to do math right now at 2% than 1.5%. So at 2% a month, you know, work backwards. How much money do I need? How much money do I want to make? You're going to find yourself at the point where you say, well, I, I need to replace my income. I need half a million dollars. I don't have half a million dollars. I'm probably never going to have half a million dollars. So is, does that mean that trading isn't for me? This one element, this hurdle of not having enough capital to trade with stops so many traders from fulfilling their potential. We here at Godly Trading have a mission to help fathers or anyone who is the head of their family leave an inheritance to their children's children, help them strengthen their family by generating more income so they can have more time. It's, but it's that that starting point where you say, I've only got $100 to trade with. I've only got $10,000 to trade with, whatever it is, $5 to trade with. And it's so discouraging. Let's say you're making 20% a year. Let's say you are Warren Buffett and you're making 20% a year and you've only got $100. I made $20 this year. That doesn't do me any good. Even though you are the next Warren Buffett. Where is he? Over there. You're the next Warren Buffett. You're making 2% a month. You're killing it. But you're not going to feel that way because your account size is too small. So what do you do? Well, there's only two options when it comes to trading capital. You can trade your own money or you can trade someone else's money. So let's take a look at those two elements and see what options might be available to you. First and foremost, let's talk about somebody else's money. There is an entire industry out there called prop firms, proprietary trading firms. We have talked about them here on the channel before, and they've been around They've been around for about 15 years, but they really hit their stride about 10 years ago. Now, in the last year, some issues have happened if you are in the U.S. If you're, if you're watching this and you're outside the U.S., the world is your oyster. Go to propfirmmatch.com. I've got a link down in the description. You can go there. And you can put in your particular criteria. I want this amount of money. I want uh, to trade this market. I want to use this platform. I'll, all those things. And there are still every option out there available to you. What does it have to do with U.S. traders? Well, we live in a country that has regulation that the rest of the world doesn't have. And as a result, back last September through December, some upheaval happened in the prop firm space, and we're now more limited. You can still go to prop firm match and find firms out there. If you want a particular platform, most of the people who uh, I have dealt with, and even myself personally, use MT5, um, and that's what's been the, the hangup. But all that to say, there are still options out there. So what, what does this mean for me? Well, essentially, you say, I'm going to sign up with some company, and let's let's just look here. We've got several companies. E8. E8 is a company out of the U.S., and if you want to use a couple of different match trader, for instance, as your broker, sign up for EA, E8, they're a U.S.-based company. They follow all U.S. regulations. They will give you 10000 50000 100000 those types of, they're not giving you that money. What they are doing is saying, okay, Bob, Mr. Trader, Pepper, for a fee, $150, $250, whatever it is, we will allocate to you 
virtually as step one, a hundred thousand dollar account or five hundred dollars or whatever it is. Or let's say a fifty thousand dollar account for two hundred fifty dollars. Right. The, what you're going to do is you're going to prove to us you know what you're doing. You're going to jump through some hoops. You, we're going to set you a profit target, a goal in mind, and when you reach that goal, we're going to evaluate you. And do we need to go to step two? Do we not need to go to step two? Have you met that goal while maintaining? risk management, right? Because these people are eventually, after the virtual step is over with, going to say, okay, you have been through our training program, essentially. Think of it like if you went to work at Charles Schwab or BlackRock or any Wall Street hedge fund, they would put you in a training program. This basically is they're just outsourcing that training program. And once you have proved to them that you know what you're doing, that you're going to be careful with their money, and that you can actually return their customers uh, a positive profit, they're going to say, okay, fantastic. Now we're going to give you X amount of dollars of real money. And then you're going to be trading that real money. And you and I, you, you the, the outsourced Bob out in the middle of nowhere, and us, the prop firm, you know, E8 or uh, the Fivers, FTMO, we're going to split whatever profit you make. And that profit split is also negotiable on the front end. It's amazing. And for anybody out there who struggles with, I, th I think I can be successful or I've proven to myself I can be successful, but I just, I don't have two pennies to scrape together. This is an option. One of the downsides to this is that you are paying an upfront fee and sometimes that upfront fee can be prohibitive. Maybe you don't have the $500 or maybe you do have $500, but you gosh, you'd really rather put it in your own account. There's another option out there. One that I am participating in now. I landed on this one because of the issue with us traders. And that would be Darwin X. Love Darwin X. Darwin X has a different approach to giving you capital. It is, this is all virtual capital. And to get around, not to get around U.S. regulators, but to satisfy the requirements of U.S. regulators, they don't even really call it profit sharing. It's, it's a performance bonus. Think of, it, think of it like a bonus. It's exactly like what it says. So same type scenario, except this one is subscription-based. All right, it's $43. I think it's $40, 40 euros a month. And that obviously fee fluctuates, but $43 a month and you get a hundred thousand dollar account. It's there's, there's no, you know, if you wanted a stock account, it'd be, or, or a futures account, it'd be a million dollar account. But for the majority of them, it's a hundred thousand dollar account. And same scenario there. You're just going to jump through hoops. And if you return X number of dollars, then actually there's no profit. There's no profit target there. It's just whatever your profit is at the end of every quarter, they're going to say you, you uh, get a payout or not. And for this one, they allocate funds based on their own criteria. The, the, the amazing thing with DarwinX, and I am in, a member of DarwinX, is that the ultimate goal is not necessarily trading the firm's money. The ultimate goal is once you have proven yourself, and it's a, this one requires a longer outlook on your trading career. And that's one of the things that we've been pre preaching this, discipline and patience and time are your friend. They, you know, we're going to get to it at the end of this success formula series. Time is the ultimate multiplier. This company wants you to prove your track record. So the, the minimum to get to that next level, we'll get to that in a second, is eight months and 20%, I believe it's 20%. And you have to prove that you have two and a half times of return over, over your drawdown. And that's pretty much it. So what does the next level mean? Well, level one, which is silver, is you are competing with the other Right now, it's around 7,200, 7,500 people. And the top X number of people get these allocations every month. Starts at 30,000 euros and goes up to, I think, 350,000. Once you get to the next level, which is gold, then not only are you still getting that performance bonus and those virtual allocations, but all of their investors can then choose to give you real money. Prove, prove that you can be Warren Buffett. Prove that you can do 2% a year percent a month. And Bob over in England might have $5 million in account. So you know what? Pepper over here, he's got a one and a half to 2% return month over month for the last year. I'm going to put $50,000 or $500,000 or $5 million into his account and allow him to start trading my money. And then your profit split there is, you know, enormous. So all of that to say, if you are one of those who you almost feel like there's no point in even starting, why, should, why bother? Because I don't have the money to trade with, or I don't have enough money to trade with to make me feel like 
I'm making any progress. One of these options is probably the answer for you. I said way back when, your two options are trade someone else's money or trade your own money. I need to clarify that because I used the wrong English word there, or. Is that an adjective? Is that a participle? I don't know what that is. All right. I should have said and because that is the answer. Trade someone else's money and trade your own money. I'm just going to show you a simple compound gain calculator. And I'm going to get my head out of the way. Let's say, for the sake of argument, that you only have a hundred dollars to start with. All right, let's just do a hundred dollars at a two percent return per month and one year. At the end of one year, you'd have $126.82. That's 2% per month. Can I put my head back in here? Because there we go. All right, let me let me scooch over just a bit. I think, well, okay, so over the course of the year, I've made $26.82. I can go to Chick-fil-A with my wife once. whoop de doo That's for a $100 account. Well, let's say you had a $500 account. Oh, well now at the end of a year, I've actually made $134.12. Now I can take my entire family to Chick-fil-A twice. whoop de doo Here is the magic of time. And this is why I would encourage everyone to do both of these. Every single month, add something to your account. Let's say it's $50. Now look at this. At the end of one year, you're, you've got $304 in your account. Now, sure, part of that is the bulk of the extra is the money that you've, that you've added to it. But some of that is your profit. Let's look at it at the end of two years. Just starting with $500 and adding $50 a month. Think, well, $50 a month, I don't know if I can. Okay, what is $50 a month? That's less than $2 a day, $1.50 a day. Are there ways you can earn a dollar fifty? That reach out to me, and I'll put my email address at the bottom here. We'll have our our website at the bottom here. There are so many ways that you can spend ten minutes online and earn two dollars a day. Whether you're answering quizzes or polls, or there's a great one out there called D Scout, where you're doing these basically you're you're doing surveys as a, almost like a, a focus group. You can earn twenty, thirty, one hundred dollars a month. Right? There's ways you can take your extra time that you're sitting in front of a TV and earn $5 a day. Well, what is $5 a day every single day? It's $150 a month. Let's say you're on $2 a day. $60 a month that you can put into this account. Now look at it. Now let's go three years. Now, I'll, now it's starting to look pretty good. Let's go to four years. Again, Let's go back to 50, right? Because that's just, let's say, I, I can squeeze out of my budget. I can $1.50 a day out of my budget. Let's go back to 50. So now, what we're, here's what I'm trying to find out. Here's where I'm trying to get you to. 60. All right? At 60 months, that's five years. At 60 months, you cross the threshold of you are now making more money than you are depositing. So think about that. In five years' time, you think, well, five years. Yeah, big dip. Five years. This is the Myron Golden quote. Hat tip, Myron Golden. Those five years are going to pass anyway. You can either spend the next five years learning to trade, putting aside drip by drip little bits of money, and at the end of five years, have $7,300 in your account. And you're now making more money in profit than you are depositing. Or you can spend the next five years sitting on your couch, watching TV at the end of the day, with a remote control in one hand and a milkshake in the other. My recommendation is that you do both. You absolutely go out there and sign up for DarwinX. I will have a, a, a link down in the description. Or if you're outside the U.S., or even if you're inside the U.S., sign up for Prop Firm Match. Prop Firm Match, by the way, is just a just a website that collates and sorts and categorizes, right? It's not a, it's not a prop firm in and of itself. It's just a one-stop shop for finding prop firms. Sign up for accounts on these and go out there and start earning extra... This is where you're going to go to develop the skills that you need long term. This is where you're going to go to make yourself noticeable for the whales out there that say, oh, my goodness, Pepper's got a 2% return for the last two years. Let me give him some of my money. And while you're waiting on the whale to swallow you like Jonah, start building your own account. And any money that you make here, 
or here. Drop it into here. Ultimately, you want to have multiple streams of income. You never want to have only one way to take care of you and your family. Right now, most of us think, well, the, the way to be, get ahead in life is to get a good job and to stay at that job for a very long time and every year try to squeeze an extra 3 to 5% bo- raise or bonus out of that company. That's putting all your eggs in one basket. Separate them out. Diversify your streams of income. Have two. And it's okay if one is larger than the other. Eventually, this one's going to catch up. Set yourself up on a regular monthly deposit into this. We're going to get into later on other ways to add to your weekly or your monthly or your yearly income, these passive income streams like um, investing in real estate. You think, well, okay, I don't, I can't buy off and flip out. No, no, no. There's crowdsource ways these days where you can just put $50 a month into an account and you're crowd sharing a property or invest in dividend generating stocks and, and ETFs. We'll get into all of those later on. But the answer for what do I do if I don't have enough capital to trade with is recognize that there are so many opportunities out there already. There are two great stories in the Bible that I think point to this idea of, I don't know what to do. I, 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 I'm just going to quit before you even get started. Let's take one that you may not have heard of or may not be familiar with. Hagar and Ishmael. All right. Hagar was was Sarah's maidservant, and she had a child from Abraham. He was trying to sort of do an end run around God's uh, provision because he was getting impatient. We had Ishmael with Hagar, and God had told Hagar that you know her son Ishmael was going to be the, the founder of an entire nation and prince among princes. Anyway. She escapes from uh, Abraham's household and takes him out into the desert. There's no water. There's no food. She puts him under a bush over there so she doesn't have to see him die. And she goes over here to sit down and die. And uh, the angel comes to her and says, look, we've heard your prayer. Hey, look, there's a stream of water right there. God didn't create it out of thin air. It was already there. She just wasn't aware of the resources around her because she was so focused on her situation. You can be so focused on, I don't have enough money to trade with. I'm just, I'm miserable. I, I feel stuck, right? Does anybody out there ever feel stuck? Like you can't even get started? Like the entire system is against you and you want to move on to the next step, but you can't because you're being held down because that first step is just too high. Well, in the story, the angels, I hear what you're saying, right? God gave you a promise. You're struggling to, to believe it because you're in the desert with no water. It's been three days. Of course, you're thinking you're going to die. Here's a resource available to you that your situation clouded your ability to see. Well, guys, these are resources for you to use that maybe that discouragement, that doubt and discouragement that we talk about all the time that are the twin killers of traders. Those those voices in your head that say you're not enough, you're never going to be enough, just give up and quit before you get started. They're, They're keeping you from seeing the opportunities around you. These are two amazing opportunities. And sure, they both cost money. So maybe... You spend two months saving up the money to buy a prop firm account. Maybe you go without for whatever it is to give you the $40 a month you need for Darwin X. Or that, you know, I need $40 a month for Darwin X and I need $40 a month for my own account. How do we get? Maybe you say, okay, I'm going to sit down in the evenings and I'm going to fill out these surveys and make $2 a day. Well, that's $60 a month or $3. See what I'm getting at. In order to have more. You have to be willing to do more. And in order to have the ability to do more, you have to be willing to be different. If Guys, I say it all the time. If nothing changes, nothing is ever going to change. If you need help in any of this, we've got a, uh, a training program we're starting right now. It's, it's starting this very week. Reach out to us at godlytrading.com. You can sign up for it, godlytrading.com forward slash pro. We'll have links down in the description for that. And the whole point of that first module of the training. I'm going to spend an entire month showing you that these are the reasons that you have to be different. I know everybody wants to learn charts and clicks and and, and scan for stocks and, and, and learn moving out, all of those things. But it all starts with the foundation of why am I doing this? Is it going to work? Is it a scam? Can, can I really do this? I just feel so utterly alone in this. 
if that is you, reach out to us. Again, go to godlytrading.com forward slash pro. There's we have a we have a pro talk about money issues. The entire first month of this thing is free. We get no obligation. I mean, you sign up for it, you have a free one month trial. But beyond all of that, don't let your discouragement over I don't have enough money to trade with stop you from taking that first step. Even if you only trade on demo for six months, that's still six months worth of track record that you can prove to yourself that it's going to work and that you can absolutely do it. It's also six months worth of track record you can show to somebody else, whether it's a friend, a family member, or a random person from the other side of the planet who's looking for reliable, trustworthy people to park their money with. So guys, thank you for being here. Next time, we're going to be talking about what you've probably all been waiting for. Hey, when are we going to talk about trading strategy? It's a reason we're doing this one last or next to last. With that, guys, thank you for being here. Go to godlytrading.com forward slash pro and sign up for that free trial, right? It's not going to cost you a dime. We'll be back next time. Don't forget our midweek live streams where we do the Godly Trading podcast, where we go over how biblical principles help us become better traders. And with that, I'll see y'all next time.